In the gun, Terrell Davis to his right. Packers jumping around, they rush four. Plenty of time for John, now squeezes, steps up in the pocket. And they can run inside the 10, head first. He oh, dives at the five-yard line. My goodness. He dives, it looked like the old play with the Miami Dolphin receiver being spun around, Matt Moore and Nick. And I still say, is this drive will be Test remembered. Four, two, three, it's, two, three, it's time, folks. It's time. April 26, 2018, 5.50 p.m. according to my watch. That means I have 10 minutes to get my picks in for the 2018 NFL Draft. Now, listen, I never played football. I weigh a buck 25, and I'm 5 feet 5 inches, okay? I never was even close to a football field. I'm a big runner. I love running. I, I'm an ultra runner now. I do long distance runs up in the mountains here in the Rocky Mountains. However, I do love football. I love football. And one of the reasons I love football, well, first of all, I grew up reading books, children's books about John Elway, okay? The comeback kid. In addition, in high school, once a year, the head football coach at Buena Vista High School would stop football practice and make all of his football players run down to the cross country course and cheer on the us, the runners, the skinny guys at the cross country meet once a year. And from that point forward, I always had respect for football and the football culture, and I just love it. And oh, it doesn't hurt that in the late 90s, John Elway won two Super Bowls here in Denver. It didn't, didn't hurt that John Elway also orchestrated a third Super Bowl win with Peyton Manning just a couple years ago. However, enough of the past, it's time to focus on the future. So here are my predictions for the top five picks for the 2018 NFL Draft. Now, bear in mind, I'm not going to do the whole draft, just the top five, because that's where the Broncos are picking, maybe. So here we go. Number one, Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold, a QB, going to the Browns. They need a QB. They've been, they passed on Deshaun Watson last year, and they passed on a lot of QBs. The Browns need a QB. Number two, the New York Giants. Manning needs help. Eli Manning, he needs some serious help. I'm going with Saquon Barkley, the running back. I think they need some explosiveness on offense. Number three, the New York Jets, Gary V's team. All right, I'm going with another QB. Baker Mayfield. That's kind of that kind of cuts us to the heart here in Denver because a lot of people here in Denver like Baker Mayfield. Another QB. Uh, the Jets definitely need a QB. They need someone long term. Number four. Another pick to the Browns. They have two picks in the top five. It's unbelievable. It's either Quentin Nelson or Bradley Chubb. I hope the Browns take Quentin Nelson, but I think they're going to go with Chubb, the I think defensive end out of North Carolina State. Bradley Chubb is going to go to the Browns and he's going to rock it. So that kind of breaks my heart because I was hoping at the number five pick, my Broncos, I was hoping they would go with Bradley Chubb, but I don't think he's going to be there at number five. Because of that, my prediction for the fifth pick, my Broncos, go Broncos, trade. They're going to trade down with the Bills. My prediction is they trade down with the Bills and get two picks for number five. They're going to they're gonna swap some picks. All right, I'm going to... Be I'm going to be quiet. Let's tune in. Here it comes. The Cleveland Browns select Baker Mayfield. Wow. Wow. Baker Mayfield. The New York Giants select Saquon Barkley. The New York Jets select Sam Darnold, quarterback, USC. The Cleveland Browns select. Denzel Ward. Whoa. I missed out on that one. Denzel. All right, Cleveland Browns, pick number four, Denzel Ward. I did not get that one. I am one for four so far. Not a good track record, but that means Bradley Chubb is still on the board. Broncos number five coming up. With the fifth pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select... Bradley Chubb, defensive end, NC State. Bradley Chubb, defensive end. Six, That's four, awesome. Two, seven. Okay, up on the roof, had to get the boys football. All right, the top five picks, they are done. They are in the books. I got one correct out of five, so not so good. The Broncos, they did not trade down. I'm so happy they did not, and they picked up Bradley Chubb from North Carolina State. Why did I want Chubb? 
basically to alleviate the double teams and triple teams on Von Miller. When Von Miller is at his best, he has help on the other side, like a DeMarcus Ware or, yeah, DeMarcus Ware when he was with the Broncos. So I'm so happy to have Chubb, and he's, he's just a beast. That was an atypical daily vlog. If you are a regular viewer, you know what I'm talking about. Usually I film throughout the day. Today it was basically one and a half hours of filming. Right, bam, 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 right around the draft. It was fun, fun to listen to. I hope you enjoyed it. Enjoyed some of that old footage of the Broncos winning Super Bowls and all that good stuff. The throwback vlog from two years ago after we won the Super Bowl when I went to the Broncos game. So anyway, good times, good times here in Denver. As I close out every vlog, I like to say, especially to all the Broncos fans out there, seek beauty, work hard, love each other, draft well, draft well. Oh, question of the day, question of the day. Are you a football fan? If so, did you watch the NFL draft? If so, did your team select the guy that you wanted in the first round? Capiche? All right, now we're closing it out. See you tomorrow.